Big Brother, mainstream media, government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. Scopolamine, devil's breath. They've done it in Latin America and Haiti for a long time. They'll spray the powder in your face. There's different types. One comes from a plant, others from a puffer fish. Paralyzes you, you think you're a zombie, they dig you up later, tell you that you're under their control, and they give you the other drug to make you follow all their orders. People will kill their children when ordered to. They will go in and rob banks when they're told to. And that's just an ancient system they have. There's a lot of high-tech drugs and things that are perfect for mind control. Sirhan Sirhan was on these when he uh, was the decoy in the shooting of RFK. But going back to Mark Dice, Mark, tell us about Devil's Breath and just an example of how easy uh, it is to mind control someone. Now, we know the power of suggestion. My video series demonstrates just from me repeatedly telling people to print their name and pointing on the crazy petitions to disrupt their thought patterns, to direct them to uh, what I want them to do using really a form of neuro-linguistic programming in a sense. That is quite powerful in and of itself, but you add drugs into the mix. And this scopolamine, it's a very little known drug, uh, nicknamed the devil's breath, uh, often rumored to just be a conspiracy theory again, but confirmed to be a real substance that uh, of course the CIA has experimented and used in their now declassified MK Ultra mind control programs, which literally turns a person into a a conscious zombie where they, to an, an uninformed person, appear to be uh, fully conscious and aware of themselves and their surroundings, but they are essentially turned into a hypnotic slave. Uh, and there's been many cases of individuals, not even associated with the government, just organized criminals or rogue criminal elements using scopolamine, devil's breath, uh, to then get people to go and empty out their bank accounts because they will walk into a bank after being told to and empty out their bank account or their ATM, or they'll just let them into their house and tell them, uh, you know, just give them some of their jewels, etc. This is one of the most sophisticated, damaging types of a mind control drug. But you mix this in with sophisticated uh, hypnotic techniques, trained neuro linguistic programmers, and these individuals that the intelligence agencies can literally almost uh, turn somebody into a mind controlled slave and have them do whatever it is they want to. The, the television, of course, is, is really one of the biggest hypnotic tools. And you know, we always talk about they control the media or trying to get more detailed, the establishment. But as a media analyst, I mean, I can tell you that there's an entire division in the entertainment industry that literally works, and you know this, with the Department of Defense. There's on the CIA's website, uh, there is a whole page about the entertainment liaison office that works hand in hand with Hollywood to create these propaganda films like this new number one film, American Sniper, this new war propaganda infomercial about Chris Kyle, who again, as you know, lost his libel suit, uh, or Jesse Ventura won $1.8 million confirming in a court that it fabricated his tale about allegedly punching out Jesse Ventura. So we're, we're living in, an, in a mind control idiocracy wasteland where the public uh, just does what the television tells them to. Uh, we have m multiple cases of these strange experiments on the public from Operation Midnight Climax, dosing people with LSD to the scopolamine uses to the use of hypnotic neuro-linguistic programming. And so it's no wonder why society is falling apart. And out of that research came Prozac, from the rest of it, where you're not obviously on LSD, but it's in the same family, you're in a highly suggestible, mesmerized mind control state. And this is what's happening to society. You can see in some of the previous uh, Man on the Street petition series where I would ask these people to sign a petition to repeal the Bill of Rights. And sometimes they may start thinking about the issue before signing. And I just using, again, just an, an easy form of neuro-linguistic programming, the power of suggestion, interrupt their thought processes and just give them a command in a confident voice to tell them, just sign right here. I just need you to sign right here in a commanding, confident voice. And I'm not even wearing a suit. I don't have a big backdrop with some theatrical music. On a That's right, Mark. You're, you're showing folks the man behind the curtain. Great job. Look forward to talking to you next week. God bless. Thank you.
the government's Department of Homeland Security is buying up loads of ammo. At the same time, they're restricting civilians' rights to own and purchase firearms. Can you put two and two together? Infidel body armor can stop every round, including hollow points and 308 sniper rounds, is reasonably priced and fully legal. But for how long? Go to InfidelBodyArmor.com, spelled I-N-F-I-D-E-L, BodyArmor.com. Infidel Body Armor just won't quit. When cells become toxic, they die early and aging sets in. No one has put together a formula that focuses directly on brain health, nerve growth factors, and optimizing your cellular energy at the same time. Just one of the key compounds, BioPQQ, is backed by major clinical studies. You want the best that's out there at the lowest price anywhere? We now have the synergistic solution. Secure your DNA force today at InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. Sold out for weeks due to the difficult and extensive proprietary process behind its creation, the exclusive InfoWars Life Secret 12 formulation is now back in stock. This ultra-clean vitamin B12 nutraceutical has been carefully crafted and developed over the last two years and is based on cellular science of how your body actively absorbs essential nutrients. Most forms of vitamin B12 are highly processed and synthetic and could not be properly absorbed by the body. Secret 12 is a binary of nutramedical grade bioavailable coenzyme forms of B12, methocobalamin, the same kind used in B12 injections, and adenosylcobalamin, the most bioactive form that has been created with our proprietary process. Secret 12 is taken by mouth, right on the tongue, and then swallowed. No needles, no injections. Don't take my word for it. Try it for yourself. Discover the secret. Secret 12. Supplies of Secret 12 are very limited. Secure yours today at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. Another major health threat, this one in Toledo, Ohio, where everybody in the entire city has been told not to drink the water. Ohio's governor declaring a state of emergency. Did you know that the average person uses about 80 to 100 gallons of water at home every single day? If there's a water emergency, will you be prepared? Panicked residents forming long lines throughout the day. We're here at a supermarket in Toledo. You can see the shelves empty where water once was. To stay safe and healthy during a crisis, you must must have access to safe, clean water. Water which will not be available at your local grocery store. There's a mad dash on right now to stock up on supplies. The ProPure Pro 1 G2.0 water filtration system is a must have for every modern, independently minded household. Protect your family's safety during an emergency. Go to InfoWarsStore.com today to purchase your ProPure Pro 1 G2.0 water filtration system or call 1-88-253-3139. If you are receiving this transmission, you are the resistance. Live from the InfoWars.com studios, it's Alex Jones. There's a lot of breaking news at InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. We're going to get to it about 45 after, after our guest leaves us. There's also a news story or two that I didn't get to Friday that I've got to get to. The minute I saw this Friday morning... Holder had made the announcement the night before, the Attorney General, who was supposed to be gone six months ago because of Fast and Furious and all his other activities, the IRS persecuting people. The minute I saw it on television while I was on the elliptical, I knew what the body would be because I just know their tactics. And sure enough, I went up, got the New York Times, and here it was. It's the feds that got asset forfeiture seizure laws passed federally to begin with that the states then copied 40 years ago. They run the war on drugs and also ship the drugs in. On record. So I knew that the feds lobbied states to get rid of their asset forfeiture seizure systems in the last 10 years, showing cases of corrupt police robbing people in non-crime-related events as a pretext to get rid of the state programs so they could then have police see stuff, but go through the federal program to get up to 85% of the money back, thus federalizing police. And the goal is federalized police. So I'm showing you how my thought process works. So I waddle back from the gym, go pull up what the attorney general actually did. 
what he said in his statement, because it's open-ended, and it was exactly what I thought. And I'm not bragging that I'm smart. I'm saying they follow a criminal program. It goes on to say that it has to be um, firearms or ammunition or explosives. Or they won't accept it and then give them money back. The Corvettes or houses or whatever they're stealing. So now they're going to asset forfeiture siege for guns they claim are illegal. You know, if somebody in the house is a felon and they're your guns, they're going to say it's the felon's gun to take your house. I mean, this is this is this is their anti-gun initiative. They said they do it. So, holder to use asset forfeiture seizure to go after guns. That's the real headline. But then it goes on. Now, here's the real key: the new policy. Notice it's a policy, not a law. It's how they interpret it. Just like the Justice Department told the IRS five years ago. If somebody makes more than 14 in a year, look it up, less than $1,000 deposits in their bank account, that's structuring, and you can take their bank account, no charges. In fact, show the New York Times on that. Folks won't believe me. In fact, in some cases, as little as 10 deposits in a year, they would do it. Well, the woman for 40-something years owned a tiny diner, never made more than $1,000, deposited her money, paid tax on it. In America, that's not good enough because the policy says Obama has a policy to shut down power plants, a policy to teach your five-year-old how to wear a dress, your five-year-old boy. They have a policy to teach kids how to masturbate since you know, Jocelyn Elders. There's no law, it's a policy. Well, here it is. The new policy does not affect asset seizures made under joint state and federal operations, and local law enforcement may still seize property under state laws, which have been changed. So, see, when you know the law and you read this, it's a joke. So, what they're saying is you got to be totally federalized or you can't have asset forfeiture seizure or guns will will let you in our program say it's okay to take somebody's house or car oh you have an illegal gun uh you you know this 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 receiver is improper under our regulations we're going to take your car it's like the cases in new york where the cops it turned out were running the hookers but they were still taking people's cars that they were busting. They would just randomly bust people that had nice cars because they wanted to take the car, too. It's like it's not enough you paid the cops for the hooker they were pimping. Now the cop gets your car, too. Remember the D.C. cops got caught? This, this was in the Washington Post. I couldn't believe it when I read it like 10 years ago. Towing cars from McDonald's parking lots that were parked legally in uniform on duty and the cops owned their own tow truck company and people would come out and say hey man you're you're taking my car i'm parked legally the cops would pull guns on them that's who needs to be indicted this is the general corruption though of the society that we've let happen look in the mirror this is our fault so see oh holder's doing something about asset forfeiture seizure oh isn't he nice it's the feds that auth authored this form of piracy Holder limits seized asset sharing process that split billions with local state police. All right, enough of that. I've got so much other news I haven't gotten to yet. We're going to cover it all. But joining us, and guys, you hand me her book. It's over there on that table. Thank you. Sorry, I can't get up now that I'm live. Vani Hari, also known as the Food Babe at foodbabe.com. She's got her new book out, Break Free from the Hidden Toxins in Your Food and lose weight, look years younger and get healthier in just 21 days. I look forward to reading uh, this book. I'm still not super healthy, but I've gotten a lot healthier than I was four or five years ago. Lost over 50 pounds, didn't lose another 10 or 15. It's those last ones that are really tough. Um, but I've done that with the InfoWarsHealth.com and InfoWarsLife.com, family of products and moderate exercise. But I didn't have the right vitamins and minerals, and I wasn't eating completely right. I'm still not perfect, and so that's why the rest of the weight wasn't coming off. Well, it is now. So with InfoWarsLife.com, InfoWarsHealth.com, with moderate exercise, with some of the techniques she's come up with as well, it, it's achievable. It's just not going to happen overnight. But I wanted to get her on to talk about her book, but also some of the news 
out there. We have a story.